Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Sarah. So today's video, I'm gonna share with you how we organize our 2021 Grand Design Imagine XLS 21 BHE travel trailer. We are a family of five. We have three kids who are nine, six, and four, and we comfortably sleep and put all our stuff in this trailer. Now, it's not a very big trailer. It's only 21 feet long. It's 24 feet, 10 inches from toe to tongue. So it's not an overly huge trailer, but it does the purpose of us comfortably sleeping at night. So we're not on the ground, storing all our stuff, and one of the bigger reasons why I wanted this trailer was because I wanted a fridge and freezer because quite frankly, for five people living out of coolers, it can be very, very challenging and kind of dictates what type of food you can bring with you. So I'm gonna show you kind of some of our storage on the outside of the trailer, and then I'll go ahead on the inside and show you how we store things on the inside. Now it's not perfectly organized or tidy because we did just come back from camping a week ago and we're heading out again in a week but I wanted to give you guys a tour, kind of show you where we put things and where we keep things. So the first place I'm gonna start here is our outside storage path through, pass through. So this is the whole width of the trailer. Um, what's great is you can open this up and it's, it's like a magnetic, so it stays open, it doesn't slam down, doesn't fall on your head. And there is a light here as well, which is super convenient. Um, there's a light on either side, it's also sensor set. So you can have it either on the sensor or you can just have it turn on and off. So under here we keep various things like we have our you know plug attachments for if we're hooked up to the power to the generator or if we're hooked up right now to our house. We keep things like WD-40, silicone spray, extension cords, tools. On the other side we have um, <clears throat> on the other side we have all of our tools and our sani dump stuff. So my husband has a bucket with rubber gloves and everything from where the sani dump. We have our poles for our tarps in here. We have like this green mat here that we put out um, at the campsite um, outside our door. We have our tarp under here and everything else is kind of like the outdoor or maintenance stuff for the trailer. We do also store a bunch of stuff in the box of our truck, but this is the kind of stuff that we like to keep in here. Um, we also have our tablecloth and an ax and we have these lovely rocks that our kids collected at one campsite that we use to keep our tablecloth from blowing away. So that's the pasture storage. It's fairly large. It is not the most organized because it's just one open hole. There's no shelving or anything in it. So it kind of, things get moved around as we need it for camping. So that's the outdoor pass through. I absolutely love having this extra space because these things then always stay in the trailer and they never leave. So it's less for us to have to remember to pack every time we go. But something that we learned last weekend, which always go by your list. If you have a list, go through it all because I unfortunately made the assumption that my husband had put the poles in because he texted me and said, poles fit, I'm gonna re I said to rearrange it. So I took that as assumption as the poles were in. I never checked, I just checked it off my list. We got to the campsite and lo and behold, the poles were not in the trailer. They were at home in our garage. Thankfully, my parents were coming out to visit us, so they brought the poles out, and thankfully it didn't rain, so we didn't need to set the tarp. But now they are definitely in the trailer, but lesson learned, never check off the box until you actually know that for a fact it's in there. I also wanna say these Gatorade type water bottle holders are great for sorting things like this one right here. We actually have the screwdriver we need for our poles. All our pegs and everything are in this one. So we just carry this around the campsite when we're putting up the poles. Here we have all the different, you know, the grease and we have WD-40 and silicone stuff and bear spray and stuff. This is all in this here. So it kind of keeps everything all nicely organized. So I highly recommend if you're trying to find a way to organize your bottles and stuff for the trailer, get some of these. They're sports water bottle carriers, but they work really, really well. These ones also had big gaps in the bottom. So I just put a piece of cardboard on the bottom to make them flatter so things didn't fall through. So I would highly recommend these if you're looking for something to keep things kind of more organized. All right, so our trailer has an outdoor kitchen and it is probably one of my favorite features of our trailer because number one, we love to cook outside. We don't like to cook inside. So we have an outdoor stove here. We have a little fridge that we can keep our drinks and stuff cool. It only works when you're hooked up to power. But when we're not hooked up to power, which most of the time we are not because we dry camp, um, we actually just keep rotate ice packs throughout the throughout the fridge to keep our drinks cold. And that's worked really, really well. So again, same kind of thing. It's a metal or um, magnetic, so it stays open and we don't worry about smacking our heads or anything when we're working in it. Um, I do keep a towel out here because when we're traveling, what we found is this fridge door will pop open. So we simply just put it here and close it so that way our drinks are not falling out because I've almost lost a few drinks opening this up after a travel day. So here we have a fridge. We only use this to keep our drinks and stuff cold because 
it doesn't work when we're in dry camping. So our drinks, if they get a, if they give it warm, it's not a big deal. But we, the ice pack trick has worked. I have a really thick one and some thinner ones I wrap around in it, and I just kind of rotate them from our freezer. Here on the side here, I have a rolling mat. This thing is absolutely amazing. It's from Epicure. I have one in my house, and then I have one in the trailer. And I love it because I have a little table that I set up just over here when we're camping. I stick it on there, so instead of having a bunch of hot pads, I just stick this out and it can keep everything um, on the mat versus um, wrecking the table. So in the storage here, so it's just one big opening here. There is also a light in here as well, which is awesome. So if you need to see, there is also an electrical plug in there. So if you are hooked up to power, you can plug in a kettle, a toaster, or anything while you're out here. So that's another great feature. So here we have our outdoor stove. And it's great because we just hook it up. There's a hose under here that we hook up to a quick connect. And then we have gas. We do have a splitter on our quick for a quick connect so we can hook up the barbecue and the stove at the same time so we can cook both. both. Um, <clears throat> has a nice little counter space here. So I always put one of these um, silicone spoon resters here. I have two of them. Got them off Amazon. They're great because they're flexible. They're easy to clean. So I just stick it here when I'm cooking. I have a couple oven mitts in here as well. Um, sometimes my tablecloth will go in here, just depends on the day. I did put one of these like grippy mat things on here as well. And then I have three different bins in here. So I have, you know, a bin here and it has like fluffers, spatula, wooden spoon, um, has a barbecue lighter that we use to light our stove and all that kind of stuff. And then I have two more bins here, this other one here same thing it just has a bunch of random stuff in here so it's not perfectly organized by any means but you know what it keeps everything that we need for cooking out here and then I don't have to store it in the trailer so again it's creating more space for us to store without having to use up space in the trailer because with five of us space is extremely valuable so I have everything I would potentially need for cooking there's a few things out here that aren't out here like my cheese plane my cut um, can opener our cutlery and stuff like that and dishes obviously but this is all the main stuff we'd be cooking with i have some mixing bowls over here as well so having the bins here has really helped because otherwise everything would just be shoved in here and you, everything would fall around everywhere so traveling nothing has come out of the bins everything has stayed where it's gone so it's worked out really well so definitely one of my favorite features so if you are looking for a trailer i highly recommend an outdoor kitchen because it's so nice to be able to cook outside to be with the family not to be stuck inside the trailer cooking plus if it's a hot summer day the last thing you want to do is cook inside because that's gonna make your trailer even warmer so i'm just gonna quickly show you kind of what a little closer up what it looks like on the inside <laughs> Okay, so next I want to talk to you about our shoe storage. So there's this little alcove in here that's been cut out. It's under the bench of this banquette and it's for shoes. So the kids shoes being smaller, they fit pretty well in here. My and my husband's shoes are a little bit bigger, so they don't fit as well, but I just like stack our sandals. Our running shoes, I kind of stack like this on top of each other to save space. Um, my kids rubber boots actually fit perfectly under here. So it's a great place to put the extra shoes. now. When our Murphy bed is down, um, which I'll show you guys later, when our Murphy bed's down, I do it at night, just tuck any extra shoes and stuff under the Murphy bed when we're sleeping, because of course, during the day, they're gonna ha we're gonna have some sort of shoes on, so not all the shoes will be in here. So this is, I think was really smart for them to add and a good use of space, because some trailers don't have anywhere to put your shoes. I'm thinking like with five of us, like we're all, we all have sandals, runners, you know, boots. I have rubber boots and I also have these rain booties, so I kind of have the double. Mine and my husband's rubber boots we store in the shower, which I'll show you later, but this is where we primarily keep our main shoes that we wear throughout the day. So this is definitely an excellent use of space in my opinion, especially with five of us. All right, so this part of the trailer is where we primarily store most of our clothes. There is two drawers under the couch. There's a cupboard on either side. That's, I guess it's sort of like the bedside table of the bed. And then there's also two drawers and a closet on either side. I'll show you kind of how they look on the, like on the inside, how I've kind of organized it. Um, but we keep mine and my husband's clothes are kind of primarily in here. And my clothes are primarily in here. Our kids' clothes are in the drawers. But I'll also show you what I've added to the trailer to create more storage for coats. Because with coats, there's five of us, so there's at least 50, you know, 10 to 15 coats because we all have raincoats 
fleece coats and sometimes depending where we're camping we might also bring the winter coats so lots of coats these don't hold all our coats very well and all our clothes so I had to be creative so I'll show you in a second what I've done with that all right so the one thing I did add in the trailer was command hooks command hooks are a great thing to use in a trailer because number one you don't have to use a nail or screw or anything in the wall number two they do come off so they're not permanent and I didn't really want to be putting any holes into the walls of the trailer so these have worked great so I have three on this side I have two on the other side I've also added them as you'll see later in our shower and they've worked great so we primarily hang our coats on here plus I mean the kids it's easier for them they can come in hang up their coat versus trying to get a hanger out they can't reach the hangers so it's just much easier so this has worked really really well I also have one here that I put in for the kids hats and then I also have um, another set of hooks over on the other side for our ball caps as well so command hooks are something that I don't know it just came to me one day to use command hooks and it's been a game changer for our camping trips because we didn't have them for the first few camping trips that we camped last year and it, they've been incredible. So like last year, we camped 45 nights in our trailer. So um, I have changed up a few ways I've organized things, but definitely bins, command hooks, and stuff like that definitely help you max out space in a trailer when there's a bunch of you using it and a lot of stuff to store. And then here in the closets, I have a bunch of um, hangers. That's my husband's side. I also have some little trays like this I have a couple different sizes in here as well um, just to help you know for things like my husband will put his wallet in there um, he'll put his sunglasses in there and if any, and I also have a bigger one a bit further back so I can put some pants and stuff in there it just helps keeps it organized and then I also have a few bins um, with random things like um, our masks and anything else that doesn't have to be accessible easily but that way they're at least still in there and they're easy to grab because otherwise I feel like the bottom of that would just become a big dumping zone and you'd never find anything and then here we have a couple of drawers of um where we keep some stuff as well so this is all my husband's clothes pretty much sometimes we'll put the kids stuff on either side like a sweatshirt or something but they primarily use the hooks So this is under one bedside table here so it might look a bit chaotic but I have a bunch of books for the kids a few cars for my son and toys I have some plastic bags a cloth bag and the extra Kleenex box in here plus I have our lamp and our thermocell so yes it looks a bit chaotic but I know where everything is and I can easily get to it so that's um, what we put under this cupboard here this cupboard I have um, some stationary stuff like I have construction paper, I have some books, I have some clipboards if we were going to do like a scavenger hunt with the kids, some tape, some pens, some notebooks. It's kind of a bit of a miscellaneous but again I've used some containers here to help keep it a little more organized. I mean it's organized if you can get using one cupboard for multiple purposes. Now under our couch here we have two drawers so um, this is the kids stuff. It's a little bit chaotic right now because I have to put the other stuff back in and I'll kind of organize a bit more but I had like my daughter's clothes here, the kids bathing suits and pajamas in this one. And then this one is where my boy's stuff is. So these drawers are actually fairly deep. They're actually quite nice. And I, it's nice to have the option to have the drawers because again, I feel like Grand Design really did a good job at maxing out every square inch of this place to be able to uh, create. So stuff. I thought I'd show you how easy it is to put, bring the Murphy bed down and put it away. I absolutely love this. This is one of the features that we definitely wanted. It was a must have along with the bunk beds in our trailer because it's a space saver because if we didn't have this we probably have to have a trailer that's another five or six feet long at least and I personally didn't want to pull the trailer that long. My husband pulls the trailer mostly but I do also pull it as well and I didn't want to have it too long where I felt uncomfortable driving it and also as you get bigger it gets limited on some of the campsites you can go to. So again, we want to keep it that smaller size so that we could get into a lot of campsites and not be restricted based on our length. Because once you get to the 32 feet even, you get to be a bit long for some sites. But still, I also just like the idea that our trailer doesn't take up the whole entire campsite. So Murphy bed's super easy. There's a clip here that holds it in place. So we just have to take all the pillows off. And then we flip this couch forward so it basically becomes like the base for it and then we just pull it down and we have like all of our we pull the blanket down and our pillows are back there and everything so it's not perfectly made because we just stuff it in 
Um, and also we use up here, there's a shelf here that we use for blankets. Um, and I'll also show you another cool feature we have here on the Murphy bed. So on each side of our bed, we have these reader lights. You can do them in bright color or you can do them in blue. So if you just don't, if you're like, just don't want it to be too bright, you can put on the blue, but we'll do on this one and they can also move. So really, really nice. Now each of us on our have a cubby and in here there's a power outlet and there's two USB chargers. So it's a nice place to put them things in there. We both wear glasses, so it's nice enough to get knocked over in the middle of the night. I can put my phone here and charge it, my Apple watch and whatever else. So again, really nice use of storage. I never expected this when we opened it and we first got the bed, uh, the trailer. I was like, oh, there's like extra storage there. So again, this is just great. We don't keep a lot of stuff in here. Like on travel days, if we know we're camping again, we'll stick our pajamas in here. Um, but yeah, so definitely another good use of space and a place to tuck a book in or whatever if you're reading at night because to go to this table is a bit awkward when you're lying in bed when your head's down there so this was a great use of space in my opinion all right so now to put it away you literally just stuff all the pillows and blankets and stuff at the end make sure any lights are turned off and then i always give the mattress a shove to make sure it's at the end and then you just proceed with putting it up it take, sometimes I'll put this over this couch back a little bit just to make it a little easier to reach. So you shove it in and then flip it in, put the couch back and then I put the pillows back and we have a couch again and we always put it away for travel days because you don't want to travel with it down but honestly we set it up uh, put it away every single day because then we have more space just like all right so then up here is where i store um my different containers so i have them all kind of stacked and fairly organized in here i have lids in some bigger containers and stuff so that's kind of the container side and then on this side is where i keep all my food i use bins like this here so i have two bins in here so i can keep some like sidekick some looser stuff in here so it doesn't kind of go flying about um so i keep that in there we also have another one that has some stuff in it and then we have our pump and our garbage bags so again another great little piece of storage to have to keep things fairly organized but bins like i tell you having bins makes a huge difference because of course when you're traveling you're on a road things shift things move around so that way at least when you open the cupboard you're not going to be have things dump all over you so I highly recommend go to the dollar store. They don't have to be very expensive bins. Some of these bins were fairly cheap, but they're just for the purpose of putting stuff in. So you don't have to spend a ton of money on them. Just get some basic bins, honestly. So that has been a game changer for um, organizing the trailer as well. All right, so as you can see, we have a TV. Now we don't really use it when we're camping because we're not usually hooked up to shore power. The most we've used it, honestly, is having movie nights at home in our trailer. So this is just more decorative. Um, but we do this little ledge here that has a bit of a dip in it. So this is where we keep all our charging cables. So our phone chargers, um, I have the remotes for it here. I have an iPad charger, all those things I kind of keep in here. That way I don't have to keep moving them in and out of the trailer and they sit nicely there and don't fall out. So that's what we store here. Okay, so now let's talk kitchen. This is my kitchen. It's not very big, but as you saw in the outdoor kitchen, we have quite a bit of stuff stored out there. So that's been a huge um, space saver for us. But up here, I mean, this is useless because it's the radio, so nothing can be stored there. But up here, I have various, you know, I have some wine glasses in here, plastic, so, you know, you don't want anything breakable. I have our Yeti mugs up here. I have some water bottles. Water bottles like this that are stainless, that are um, metal, is, I use them for milk. So whenever, whenever we get milk, our milk jar doesn't fit in the trailer, and we drink a lot of milk as a family. So I get these because they fit in the door of my trailer, of my fridge. So... That's what's up here. I have enough water bottles for all five of us. And again, I have another bin. So here I have some plastic cups. I have the lids for the water bottles because they don't fit in there with the lids on. Um, and I have like our cozy for our, my, one of my Can Yeti cozies in here. My husband has one as well. So that's what's up here. Um, down here, it's a bit of a, an assortment of plates and bowls. It sometimes is stacked nicer, but as long as they all fit as you can see we have tons of them but sometimes it's nice if you have people come over or if you only have a few dishes from a meal you don't necessarily want to do them you want to head to the beach that's why we have extra ones and bowls and 
don't go and buy a bunch of plastic dishes. I can guarantee you, you have plastic dishes in your house that you probably aren't using very much. Some of these, like I have these ones, yes, they're Christmas, but they were sitting in our cupboard, hardly being used, so now they're in the trailer. I have a couple of these that, again, were sitting in our cupboard. We have enough plastic dishes at home, so we found that we were just not using them enough, so I thought, let's put them in the trailer, they'll actually get used. And we also have a Halloween one, so we're all about the different holidays in this trailer. Um, and then some other stuff I got from family that was used when I was younger and you know what it all works really well So that's our kind of cups plates and bowls Um, so above the microwave here we have this nice little storage here and I remember at first thinking like what am I gonna put up there? It's not very big. It's the same depth as the microwave, but what I'm gonna use for up here Well, it's worked perfect. I have ziploc bags aluminum foil saran wrap and all that up in this spot and there's a little bit of a lip so they don't move on, on travel days. And uh, honestly, if a Ziploc bag occasionally has come flying down, it's not going to hurt anything anyway. So um, microwave, we don't really use the microwave that often because we're not hooked up to power mostly. And you can only use it when hooked up to power. So um, since there's, it's like a cupboard, essentially, when you're not have it plugged in and not using it, we store our bread and buns in here. So it works as a perfect little bread box if you will so if you have a microwave in the trailer and you find that you don't use the microwave I wouldn't necessarily take it out because there are times we have used it if we have had the generator hooked up or if we have been hooked up to, to power so I wouldn't necessarily take it out because it could be useful at times but when you're not using it make it another cupboard so some people put ziploc bags in theirs and aluminum foil I put bread in mine because I had the little spot up here so just another suggestion if you feel like your microwave is useless I personally wouldn't take it out because it's something that might be useful at some point. Okay, so let's talk about the lower cover storage. So I also want to point out, I do have this mat that sits in front of my sink and I have two other large mats that I have, one by the door, one by the fridge, to try to minimize the amount of dirt and stuff that gets tracked into the trailer. So here, I mean, this is where people would store their spices. We don't have a lot of spices because we're not very spice using people. I have salt and pepper here. I have a little bit of a seasoning for um, if we do salmon, but otherwise I have like glow sticks in here and sparklers. So that's what I keep here, but I think it's actually meant for, for a spice rack. Um, now here under the sink, we do have some storage under here because um, some of it is blocked off because of our sink. So some of it's not, the bottom one's not as deep, but um, in here I have like an extra cutting board, I have some cookie sheets, my kettle. I also have some of these um, container, these Tupperware containers as well. These are great on travel days, these bento boxes. I highly recommend them. I have them for each of the kids in here because there are times when we're camping and we have travel days because like last year we went on a two week trip. So we had days where we needed to have lunch and stuff for them. So I like to have some containers on hand like that in the trailer in case we need them for a travel day. And then down here, as you can see, we have a variety of our different games. Um, one thing I got for the games was I got these pouches off Amazon. So there's a, there's a zipper pouch. I'll try to remember to put the link in my description box below. Um, and they keep all the games dry too because I found that all the boxes of games, it took up a lot of space and then we ran out of space quickly. So like I have the Jenga pieces in here, I have some dominoes. Um, you know, we have a variety of other games here. We have the game of life in here. So this has worked really well to keep the game stored. Um, I also have a bin here. Again, I'm all about the bins. Um, that I have like extra decks of cards. I have Skipbo, Uno, all that kind of stuff in there. Um, and then I have like the trouble board doesn't really fit in a specific spot. I had it up here, but then when we bounce, 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 it ended up behind a little partition that's back there. So I no longer put it up there. Um, we have a crib board. We got these really cool things. There's dinosaurs, the world and animals around the world. And it's really neat because it comes with a book and it comes with a magnetic board and mag magnetic pieces. So the kids absolutely love this. Um, so I, I have three of those. The kids just kind of share them. Um, <clears throat> And then I, I'll put the tool board here. Um, so this has worked really good for our game storage. It's nice to have a central location where it's all kept. But I definitely recommend, if you're looking for some way to better store your games, especially when traveling, get these. Because the boxes are honestly a big pain. I was so glad. I, I don't know if I... I might have found, seen another YouTuber use these um, for their home. But I was so glad to find them for the trailer. At home, I don't mind the boxes. But in the trailer, when we have limited space... And our kids love playing games, especially when we're camping, because we have time to do it. So that's under there. And then 
I have three drawers here. Um, so this top one is, I have little organization trays in here. So that's where I keep like my sharp knives, my cheese plane, my, um, can opener. I have these awesome collapsible measuring cups. Like, look at, they collapse right down. And so they're perfect for the trailer because they take up no space at all. Um, the next drawer here, I have, um, some hog pads. I have some of these chip clips. Now cutlery, <clears throat> I keep my cutlery all in this bin because when we go out to eat, I can just grab the bin, take it all out there, put it on our table out there and they all have a place. Um, and it's easier instead of grabbing just like five knives and five forks and five spoons, I just take the whole thing out and then I wash dishes. I put them all back in the bin and then I put it all back in the drawer. That was my mother's suggestion, so I can't take credit for it. So it's a really great way to store your cutlery. I don't want to have all the different trays because it's just easier to grab stuff. Then this bottom drawer is nothing kitchen related. I have our walkie talkies in here, which I got this four pack from Costco. Um, they're Midland brand and they're absolutely amazing for the kids because they're not overly big. They can easily hold them. And I can go on forever about walkie talkies, but we absolutely love them because we'll give them to our kids um, when we're camping. So we'll give them to them so they can go to the park and we can communicate with them. If we're in a, a campground with no cell reception, then when my husband and I, my husband's backing up, I can communicate with him on the walkie talkie so I can kind of navigate where he needs to go. So they're honestly really great. And then we also have some flashlights in here. I have clothes pegs. So this is kind of, that kind of stuff in that drawer and I also have a plastic divider in here to keep things a little more organized so that's what I have in those drawers and then the last drawer here under the stove is where I keep all my pots and pans so I have all my pots and pans in here and I have some towels in between each pot so they don't shake around and bang around and wreck, wreck but this has worked really great I actually have room to spare in here but I have one big frying pan one a bit smaller and then I have three different size pots and they're all old pots that I think some of them were pots that I had when I was growing up. So they've been around a while, but they work perfectly fine. So don't be afraid to go to a thrift store to go to like, just look for things because sometimes thrift stores will have great finds just for the purpose of camping. Cause you don't need to say everything new. You just want something that's in decent shape. So I would definitely recommend looking at thr thrift stores or if you have friends that are getting rid of stuff, or if you're going through your kitchen and doing a revamp and thinking you might go camp, get camp, um, go camping down the road, start tucking those things in a bin. That's what I did. I had stuff in a bin. So when it came to filling this trailer, there's a couple things I did buy for the trailer that I wanted to have specifically for the trailer that we didn't have in our camping bin. Um, so I wasn't going back and forth in the house, but otherwise I got a lot of this stuff, um, from stuff that like my parents had and stuff that we kind of inherited along the way. So definitely a good place to start if you're looking for kitchen stuff. For okay. So first on the back of the door, I have this caddy. I got it off Amazon. If I can find it, I'll try to put the link in the description box for you guys. But this is where we keep all our socks and underwear. So, you know, I have mine, my husband's, my three kids, and the bottom one is where we keep wipes and pull-ups. So this has definitely been great because we found that with five of us, we are tight on space for clothes. So everything's out here so the kids can grab what they want for that. It's really convenient and nothing falls out of it or moves around in anything. If it does when we're traveling, who cares because it's lightweight stuff anyway. Now, as far as the bunks go, so I do have, these are double bunks. I don't have double sheets. I have queen sheets. So I do have queen sheets on here. Um, and then I have a plastic sheet because I want to protect the mattress. So I have that on there and then our kids use sleeping bags. I have a bunch of pillows I got that are just for the trailer that I have pillowcases on. So, but I find that this at least helps protect it. Um, but they do use sleeping bags. It's just much easier and more convenient to use. So it's the same thing on the bottom as well. And so I, I just want to protect the mattress as long as I can because they're kids. You never know what can happen. So we do have, uh, it's eight cubic foot fridge. And then we have the freezer, the freezer. I don't do anything to organize it. I just simply stick it in. And the ice packs I talked about earlier for the fridge outside, I have two of these big ones. And then these ones are a little more flexible. So I can stick them kind of like in between some pop and that sort of thing. So that's what I have in the freezer. And then the fridge, it's just a standard basic fridge. There's shelves on the door and in there. And I just try to max out and not overfill it either. Cause if you overfill it, things will start to freeze. I find this pantry. I love the extra space, but it's a bit difficult to organize because it's super deep. Like I'm just touching the back now with my arm 
and they're really high. So what I end up doing is anything in boxes or containers, I try to stick on the bottom and then try to stick things like I have pasta kind of sitting on top here. It fits the really big bag of chips from Costco really well. Um, in the back of this one, I do have um, a cloth pouch thing that I have all our hats and mitts in. Those are in the very back of this one. But I just kind of have things wherever it kind of fits. Um, I try to organize it based on like snacking versus food um, and that sort of thing. I try to separate for like meal food versus snack food. But again, sometimes things go where they fit. So sometimes it's a bit chaotic to find things. But I'm truly thankful that I have these two shelves and then I have another cupboard the exact same below and then plus the other ones. So definitely have a lot of space to store food because when we were tenting two years ago, it was so hard for me to meal plan and pack enough food for us, but also with limited space and living out of bins, this is so much better because I'll pack this at the beginning of the season and then I'll just rotate things, put things in as needed, but I don't have to continually pack this every single trip. So the bonus of having a trailer is the first trip's always the hardest. You're bound to forget something. We forgot oil on our first trip, um, which wasn't a huge deal, but we did forget it. Um, but at least this way, we can go camping, grab a few things. We know we won't starve. I always have like spaghetti and pasta sauce in here. Never plan for it for a meal, but I like to have it on hand just in case we want something quick and we decide to have that. I also have cans of soup and that sort of thing. So if we happen to camp longer, aren't able to get to a store, we definitely are not. Okay, this is the bathroom. I'm not sure how much I'm gonna be able to show you because it's a very small space, but it works fine. We only use the bathroom at night. During the day, we use the bathroom at the campsite. But what I like here is we have these four, there's four cubbies exactly like this all the way down. And I use this for our towel storage. I have like all our dish cloths, face cloths, hand towels, dish towels, and everything in here. Up here, I have some pull-ups and some wipes. Um, that's kind of what's up here. And I also have, um, a few other sheets and stuff up there as well, if needed. And I also clip in here some of my Norwex cleaning cloths. So that way, if we're gone for an extended period of time and I wanted to do a quick wipe down, quick clean, I have the stuff to do that. Um, here in our shower, it's primarily used for storage. Um, I use this rod, as you can see, to hang and dry things. Um, I was talking earlier about how I put up some command hooks. So I have the command hooks up here. So it's great because like if our life jackets are wet or if we have wet raincoats, I can hang them here while we're traveling and they're not going to go anywhere and they're not going to get everything else wet because if it gets wet in the shower, it's totally fine. Um, this rod works really great because I have like my drying mat there. I have a few extra of these that I'll use at the campsite. Um, I have a towel up here and then another drying mat. So this is what I use to dry stuff at night because at night things do not dry very well because it gets dewy and moist in the air. So I will stick things in here at night like my dish cloths, dish towels and that sort of thing. All right, so this is our medicine cabinet. So it just has a couple shelves in it. Um, so like I keep, our, I keep always keep hairbrushes, elastics and clips and stuff for my daughter and I. I have our medication and stuff here. Um, I have some rapid tests. Um, and then we have like nail file, hand sanitizer, floss, stuff that we keep in here all the time that we like to have with us on hand camping. So that's worked out really nicely to have that as well. Here's another command hook. There was no rack for the towel except for these rods up here, this rod up here. My kids can't reach it. So I added this command hook and the towel very rarely falls when we're traveling. So that works out well. Um, down here, we have the storage for bottles and stuff. I have all our toilet paper up here. Down here, I just try to strategically put things so they don't move around very much. And I have like, I also have laundry soap down here. I have hand lotion, sunscreen. I have a cleaning bottle to clean. I have bug spray, deodorant for my husband and deodorant for myself. Or we have shampoo and shower gel. I have Lysol wipes. So this is all down here and it's not gonna move. And then under here is where we keep some bins of, you know, women products, extra contacts, or extra paper towel. This here, um, I actually pull it out when we get to a campsite. I can take this whole tray out, put it, it fits perfectly on this counter, the soap out, but then when we're traveling, I stick it in this bin and put it under here because then it doesn't fall over or get knocked over when we're traveling. So again, bins are good for all sorts of different things. And now this is the bottom half of the shower. So things got knocked over last time we traveled, but we keep our kite in here, beach toys, my son's um, kayak paddle, our water shoes stay in here as well. Mine and my husband's rubber boots. So we have a lot of great thing, things back here that could be sandy, dirty, wet. And that way it keeps this part 
wet only and not the rest of the trailer. So, I mean, some people might want to use a shower, which is fine. We prefer to use it for extra storage. It's like having an extra storage closet for all the wet and dirty stuff. So that's what we use it for. I mean, we just have never found a use to using the shower because we'll either shower at the campsite or depending on how long we're gone, we'll just shower when we get back home. Now underneath the bunk bed, the whole length of it and about half of it, we have for storage. Of course, the other half is the outdoor kitchen. So under here, I have like a beach bag. We have some sit upons. I have some other beach toys. We have our hammocks right here which if you, I don't know if they have them in the States at Costco, but in Canada, we got these from Costco. They're amazing because they attach to so many different trees. So much versatility. We also have some foldable tables under there. We have some bocce. Um, we keep some kids crafts and stuff in a container. I have bins with um, our beach blankets and everything in here. So I completely use this space. It's filled right to the back, but this has been a great addition for our storage. So honestly, it's it's a great place to store things like the tables and stuff like that that are too long to put somewhere, but they fit nicely in there. So that's going to be it for how I organized my trailer. I did do a video last year, but last year I did it very early on the season. We were very new trailer owners, and I didn't have a complete feel for where I wanted to put things. Well, we camped for 43 nights last year, so we definitely got a really good idea, and one of our trips was a two-week trip. So we got a very good idea of what worked for placement of things, what didn't work. So that's how I have it organized right now. And as you can see, it's really hard to keep it perfectly organized, like, you know, under the bunk. Everything is under there. I know what's under there. It's not easy because sometimes I have to pull multiple things out to get one thing. But at least I know where everything is and everything does have a home. So at the end of the day, it's not taking up space on the main floor area and it's very functional how it is. So that's going to be it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed today's video and like seeing where I put everything in my trailer. If you have any additional questions about our storage or where I got things, let me know in the comments below. And I would love to hear from you guys. Let me know if you do own a trailer. Do you go camping? Do you like to go camping often? And do you like to dry camp or do you like to camp where there's powers and um, water and everything else? So I'm curious to know. Let me know in the comments below. We primarily camp dry camping. So here where I live, we have provincial parks that we camp at or national parks. They don't have power hookups, water or sewer. We did camp at one national park last year that had electric, which was a nice bonus, but we do have a generator in case we don't have it so we can keep our batteries charged. But otherwise it's kind of nice being unplugged a little bit and just being outside, enjoying nature, enjoying time with the kids. That's one thing I absolutely love about camping. So we are planning on doing a bunch of camping this year as much as we can. We just love getting out. It's so relaxing and enjoyable and just a nice change of scenery um, for the kids and for us and to get to really spend that time together with the kids. Um, so if you did enjoy today's video, please give a thumbs up as it does help my channel a lot. If you do enjoy today's video or the content you see here on my channel, I would love if you consider subscribing and joining my YouTube family. So forget that red subscribe button and the notification bell so you miss any future videos from me. Thank you so much for watching my video today and I'll see you next video. Bye! The sun